peace and love. This is Yasira Hotep, and I'm speaking to you from my kitchen. And the reason I'm speaking to you, speaking to you from the kitchen is because what goes on in the kitchen is very essential in determining your health and your well-being. And so this is September 9th or 10th, I think. I think it's September 9th. And so we are going, making a transition from the summer season into the fall season. And so when you make those transitions, what you want to do is be able to um, maybe fast and or cleanse your system, detox your system to allow your body to ad adapt and adjust to the, to the change in the season. And so what I'm doing today is preparing my detox. And so I've been doing juicing today. So one of the things I juice today is watermelon. So I made fresh watermelon juice in my juicer. And um, watermelon juice is very cleansing. It helps to cleanse out your liver, your your kidneys. Um, you know, it's, it, has a, it gives you electrolytes, you know, which are, um, you know, substances that help you to have energy and, um, so watermelon juice is very helpful, helpful for you. And so in addition to my glass here, my mug of watermelon juice, I also have made my um, <clears throat> containers that I can store my watermelon juice in. And so the juicer that I use, which is called a Breville, I'm gonna show, you, show this to you. Um, it's called a Breville Juice Fountain. And so this is the base of the juicer. The rest of it is in the um, dishwasher because I'm cleaning it after I used it. But um, it's called a Breville Juice Fountain. And so this is a very good high-speed blender. And the reason why I say it's very good is because most high-speed blenders, they blend up your um, fruit or your vegetables. Not, not blend, it's a juicer. It's a high-speed juicer and they go at such a high rate of speed that they often um, cause a lot of foam to happen or to form in your juice, but that's a lot of, uh, that's like aeration or oxygenation. So you don't really want to have, you want to minimize that. So you see a little bit of foam on top of here, but that's because I put it in the blender after I juiced it because I like to put a little bit of sweetener in it. So I put a little bit of honey in it because this particular watermelon wasn't the sweetest, okay? And so you get you a nice blender, a nice juicer, like a um, um, juice fountain. Um, and then you, um, you know, make sure that you, you know, juice, you know, you, want, you really wanna have good equipment. So you wanna juice up your watermelon and you can add a little bit of honey. You can add a little bit of, um, ginger you can get some fresh mint leaves and you can blend all of this up in your blender not a lot make sure that you keep most of it as um watermelon juice but blend it up make it taste good to you and then um add a little bit of lemon a little bit of lemon in it that'll help to preserve it and then you can take it you can put it into your containers so these particular containers um, and the type of juicer that I'm using, that uh, you know, this can take get, this can stay in this um, in this container for about two two days, three days at the most, without losing any of its potency. Okay, and so um, I have several of these containers, and um, when I'm when I'm going through my cleanse. I also um, carry these around with me, so I can take these and put them in the car, put them in the cup, cup holder, and carry them with me. And so if you all have heard me before, I'm always talking about fresh citrus juice. So this is some fresh lemon with some spring water and also some um, blended up um, fresh ginger and fresh turmeric. So ginger and turmeric, are anti-inflammatories. So they take down the swelling in your body and they help your body to heal, okay? So um, the citrus in it, 
gives it vitamin C. Vitamin C is a catalyst. It helps to activate other enzymes and other um, nutrients to actually work better in your body. So I have a couple of containers of that. Um, when you make your um, when you make your um, your your blend, you're gonna take your um, you, you, after you make your juice and you make the lemonade from it. You can throw the um, um, the ginger and the turmeric into your blender and make sure you get a good blender like I recommend either a um, Blendtec or a um, what's the one I have um, <laughs> a Blendtec or a um, Vitamix sorry about that Blendtec or Vitamix okay Vitamix and uh, these things you have to invest in. Um, the investment is a good, good thing to do. Okay, and so you're gonna get your juice, and you have several of these, and so you can store these in the refrigerator. And um, these containers here, these are actually made by Vitamix, so they're made to store your juice in. Okay, keep it fresh, so you can have that for a couple of days. So you also want to have your fresh water. So I, I, I carry my spring water around. Some people carry this. Some people put their water in a um, non-plastic container like glass or some type of metal um, because they say that's better for you than putting it in plastic. So the ideal thing is to put it in something other than plastic, ideally. But if this is what you got, this is what you got. It's better to drink water out of something than not to drink water at all, okay? And so um, I'm gonna give you the um, ingredients and the directions for how to make these juices in writing down, down below. So just um, look out for that and read it. And also come to our website, kineticyogaskills.com and enroll in our online course, our 200 hour teacher training course. Now, the teacher training course is not just for people who want to become instructors. You will get information on how to make your juices, how to go on a four to six week transitional cleansing regimen to transition from the sad diet, the standard American diet, into a more healthier lifestyle, into a vegetarian, vegan diet. You know, if you choose to go that far into it, okay? But we would give you expert instructions on how to change your diet and change your lifestyle. You will also learn the movements and the postures and the breathing that we do in Kemetic Yoga and the Yoga Skills Method. You will also learn um, the history and the philosophy of ancient Kemet, okay? Ancient Kemet is the country that people today call Egypt, okay? And so this is a unique ancient African civilization that spawned what we call Western civilization. So Western civilization comes from ancient Kemet, and so they had yoga, they had meditation, and so on and so forth, right? And so come to our website, kineticyogaskills.com. You can look for the link down below, and you can um, click on that link and register for our 200-hour teacher training course. You could do it at home. You could, it'll be self-paced. You will have all our training manuals. You will have our instructional videos. You will have our instructional meditation audio, okay? Um, and a lot of other resources. You get, you actually get a whole library of eBooks that are dealing with health, well-being, wellness, psychology, and metaphysical consciousness, okay? So all of those things are important. So thank you very much and um, enjoy your coming fall season and prepare.